I can hear a loud whispers and loud scream at every corner of Africa chanting, Wakanda, 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 a new rise of a global shift. Yo, I am Dr. Cool. Global automotive industry stands at a crossroads. Traditional internal combustion engine vehicles, long the dominant force on our roads, are facing unprecedented challenges. Concerns over climate change, air pollution and resource depletion have spurred a global shift towards sustainable transportation solutions. Amidst this transformation, electric vehicles have emerged as a leading contender. European car manufacturers in particular have made significant strides in EV technology, rolling out an impressive array of electric cars and establishing themselves as leaders in the field. However, a new player has entered the arena, hailing from the African continent, tore the script and piss on it. Change the name and the game. The Saith FEV, a self-powered electric vehicle developed by Zimbabwean innovator Maxwell Chikumbutso, is kickboxing out the status quo. This groundbreaking invention, if its claims hold true to its promises, could disrupt the automotive industry as we know it. The Saith FEV purportedly generates its own electricity, eliminating the need for external charging infrastructure and potentially revolutionizing transportation, particularly in regions with limited access to electricity. In this essay, we will delve into the intricacies of these automotive technologies, comparing and contrasting their energy sources, performance costs, environmental impacts, and potential for global acceptance. At the heart of the automotive revolution lies the quest for sustainable and efficient energy sources. European internal combustion engine vehicles reliant on gasoline or diesel face growing scrutiny for their carbon footprint and contribution to air pollution. European electric vehicles, on the other hand, offer a cleaner alternative, drawing electricity from the grid, which can be generated from renewable or non-renewable sources. The Scythe FEV, however, presents a radical departure from both these approaches. Chikumbutso claims that the vehicle is equipped with a technology that harnesses energy from the Earth's magnetic field, essentially creating a self-charging system. This audacious claim, if substantiated, could potentially eliminate the need for fossil fuels or external charging infrastructure. While European internal combustion engine vehicles remain dependent on a vast network of petrol stations, European electric vehicles necessitate a growing infrastructure of charging stations, posing a challenge in regions with limited access to electricity. The Scythe FEV, if its technology proves viable, could bypass these infrastructural constraints, potentially offering a more accessible and sustainable transportation solution, particularly in developing countries. However, it is crucial to note that the scientific community is yet to independently verify the claims made about the Scythe FEV's energy source. Rigorous testing and validation are essential to determine the true potential of this technology and its ability to deliver on its promise of self-powered transportation. When it comes to performance, European internal combustion engine vehicles have long set the benchmark with their powerful engines and established track record. European electric vehicles are rapidly catching up, boasting impressive acceleration capabilities and a quiet, smooth driving experience. The Tesla Model S Plaid, for example, can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a staggering 2.1 seconds. However, range anxiety remains a concern for many electric vehicle owners, with the average electric car offering a range of around 200 to 300 miles on a single charge. This is where the Scythe FEV, if its claims are true, could hold a significant advantage. A self-charging electric vehicle, by definition, would not be limited by battery range, potentially offering unparalleled convenience and long-distance travel capabilities. Refueling an internal combustion engine vehicle is a quick and straightforward process thanks to the widespread availability of petrol stations. Electric vehicles, however, require a longer charging time, ranging from 30 minutes to several hours, depending on the charging station and battery capacity. The Scyeth FEV if its self-charging mechanism proves effective, could eliminate the need for any refueling or recharging stops, making it a truly revolutionary mode of transportation. It is important to emphasize that these performance comparisons are based on the purported capabilities of the Saith FEV. Without independent verification and testing, it is impossible to definitively assess its real-world performance against its European counterparts. 
Section 4. The Price of Progress Ownership Costs and Maintenance The financial aspect of vehicle ownership is a crucial consideration for consumers. European ICE vehicles, while becoming increasingly fuel efficient, still carry the burden of fluctuating fuel prices and are subject to road taxes in many countries. European EVs, on the other hand, benefit from lower running costs due to cheaper electricity and government incentives in some regions. However, the upfront cost of purchasing an EV remains significantly higher than that of a comparable ICE vehicle, largely due to the expensive battery technology. The Scythe FEV, if it delivers on its promises, could disrupt the cost equation in the automotive market. A self-powered electric vehicle, by eliminating the need for fuel or external charging, would have significantly lower running costs. However, the cost of manufacturing such a vehicle, particularly given its potentially revolutionary technology, remains unknown. Maintenance costs are another factor to consider. ICE vehicles with their complex internal combustion engines often require more frequent and expensive maintenance. EVs with fewer moving parts generally have lower maintenance requirements. Information about the Sayeth FEV's maintenance needs is currently scarce. The complexity of its purported self-charging technology could potentially lead to higher maintenance costs. Conversely, the absence of a traditional engine and fuel system might result in lower maintenance requirements compared to ICE vehicles. Section 5. Powering up infrastructure needs and challenges. The transition to electric mobility necessitates a fundamental shift in infrastructure. European ICE vehicles rely on a vast and well-established network of petrol stations which have been developed over decades. However, the transition to EVs requires significant investment in charging infrastructure. European governments and private companies are investing heavily in building a network of charging stations, but challenges remain particularly in ensuring adequate coverage in rural areas and addressing long charging times. The Scythe FEV, if its self-charging technology proves viable, could upend this infrastructure equation. By eliminating the need for external charging, the Scythe FEV could liberate electric mobility from its dependence on charging stations. This could be particularly transformative for Africa, where access to electricity remains a significant challenge in many regions. However, even if the Saith FEV does not require charging stations, it may necessitate a different type of infrastructure for manufacturing, maintenance and repairs. Establishing such an infrastructure from scratch would require significant investment and expertise. Section 6. Environmental Responsibility – A Comparative Analysis The environmental impact of transportation is a pressing global concern. European ICE vehicles are major contributors to air pollution, emitting greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides and particulate matter. European EVs, while not entirely emission-free due to the electricity generation process, offer a significantly cleaner alternative, particularly when powered by renewable energy sources. The Scythe FEV, if its claims hold true, could represent a major leap towards sustainable transportation. A self-powered electric vehicle, by definition, would produce zero tailpipe emissions, eliminating its contribution to air pollution. Furthermore, its reliance on a renewable energy source like the Earth's magnetic field would drastically reduce its carbon footprint compared to both ICE vehicles and EVs, that rely on fossil fuel-based electricity generation. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that every technology has an environmental footprint. Even if the Scythe FEV proves to be emission-free, during operation, the mining of materials for its production and the disposal of its components at the end of its life cycle will have environmental consequences. Section 7. The Road to Acceptance, Technological Viability and Market Realities European ICE vehicles benefit from over a century of technological refinement and consumer trust. European EVs, while rapidly gaining popularity, are still in their nascent stages of market adoption, facing challenges such as range anxiety, high purchase costs and a developing charging infrastructure. The Scythe FEV, being a relatively new and unproven technology, faces an uphill battle for acceptance. The scientific community is yet to independently verify the claims made about its self-charging capabilities. Rigorous testing, P 
peer review and replication of results are crucial to establishing the technology's credibility and gaining the trust of consumers and investors. For the time being, I tell you what, let African go about their business and let the West go about their job. The West can drive their skepticism, Tesla, Mercedes, BID, Volkswagen, Idaho, while Africa drive their self-powered EV that doesn't need to plugged in or gasoline. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with your friends. As always, I am Dr. Cool. See you next.